Hi, my name is Vince. I work for the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention in Atlanta, Georgia, better known as CDC. CDC helps to stop the spread of diseases and to keep people from getting sick. We're kind of like detectives, but instead of stopping bad guys, we help to stop germs and diseases. Our job is to use clues to figure out how people get sick. Then we use that information to try to prevent people from getting sick. And hand washing is one of the ways you can do that. And I'm Sarah. I also work at the CDC with Vince. We're here today to talk to you about Global Hand Washing Day. Global Hand Washing Day is a day to celebrate the importance of clean hands around the world. Global Hand Washing Day has been celebrated since 2008 in more than 100 countries. It's a good reminder of how hand washing helps us stay healthy and why washing our hands with soap and water is one of the best ways we can avoid getting sick. Countries all over the globe celebrate Global Hand Washing Day in a variety of ways. Hand washing really is important because everyone can get sick from germs. Has anyone heard of germs? What are they? Germs are too tiny for you to see, but they can be found everywhere, on your hands, your desk, your pets, and your toys. There are a lot of different types of germs, like bacteria and viruses. Some types of germs help you, like the ones in our intestines that help break down food. But other types of germs can make you sick, like when you get the flu, a cold, or a stomach ache. How do germs spread? Do they move around like you and me? Good question, Vince. People can have germs on many different parts of their bodies. The germs can spread quickly when we move around and touch objects or people, sneeze or cough. If we're not careful, they can make us sick. We wash our hands with soap and water to help get rid of germs. When we wash our hands, why do we use soap and not just water? Washing your hands with soap and water can help get rid of germs that can make us sick. Soap is important because it helps take dirt and germs off your skin. Water alone can't do that job very well. We also tend to scrub our hands more when we use soap, so that helps get rid of even more germs. Is there a right way to wash our hands? Yes. Let's watch this video that shows the hand washing steps. That'd be great. First, wet your hands using running water, warm or cold, whatever temperature feels best to you. Then put soap on your hands. Scrub your hands together for 20 seconds, which is long enough to sing the happy birthday song twice. Make sure to get in between your fingers, the backs of your hands, your wrists, and under your fingernails where the germs tend to hide most. Rinse your hands off. Then dry your hands with a paper towel, hand dryer, or air dry them. At home, it's okay to use a clean cloth or towel. So now that we know how to wash our hands, what about when we should wash our hands? Great question. You should always wash your hands after you go to the bathroom. Or if you help change your little brother's diaper, right? Right. Also, before you touch or eat your food, and before you make food for anyone else, which includes helping your parents set the table in the kitchen, after you play with your pets or any other animal, or touch their food or cages, after you cough, sneeze, or blow your nose, and after you play outside. These are times when it's easy to get germs on your hands or give germs to other people. But what if there's no soap? What about hand sanitizer? Washing your hands with soap and water is best because hand sanitizers don't kill some types of germs. Also, they don't work well if your hands are really dirty, like they can be after you've been playing outside. But if there's no soap, you can use hand sanitizer. Using hand sanitizer doesn't replace washing your hands with soap and water, but it may help you stay healthy if soap and water aren't available. Okay, so how do we use it? You should use enough to wet both hands completely, about a dime to a quarter size of hand sanitizer. Then rub it all over your hands until your hands feel dry, which usually takes about 20 seconds. Great information. Let's talk a little bit more about colds. Sarah, have you ever had a cold? Oh yes, and it was no fun. My head hurt, my nose was runny and stuffy, and I just felt awful. Yep, that sounds like a cold. You can catch a cold from a sick person coughing or sneezing near you, or from touching things that have cough germs on them, and then touching your mouth or face. How can we stay healthy and avoid catching a cold? Make sure you don't give cold germs to other people. You can do this by washing your hands often with soap and water. Also, remember to sneeze or cough into your elbow or tissues, like you see in these pictures. Good to know. Now what about the flu? 
Does hand washing get rid of flu germs too? Good question. Who's heard about the flu? The flu, also called influenza, is caused by a virus. Viruses are a type of germ, like we mentioned before. In general, the flu is worse than the common cold. When you have the flu, you feel bad. You can have a fever, a cough, sore throat. Your whole body feels bad and your head hurts. That sounds awful. How do we catch the flu? Flu germs can spread from person to person through the air when people with the flu cough, sneeze, or talk. Flu germs can also spread when you touch something with flu virus on it, like a table or doorknob, and then touch your mouth, eyes, or nose. So back to my earlier question, what if we don't want to get sick? How can we protect ourselves against the flu? There are two big things you can do to prevent getting the flu and protect others. First, get the flu shot. The flu shot is the best way to prevent catching the flu. Second, try these steps to avoid germs. Wash your hands often and carefully with soap and water. Avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth because germs easily spread this way. Like we mentioned with colds, cover your nose and mouth with your elbow or a tissue when you cough or sneeze. Throw the tissue in the trash after you use it and then wash your hands. If you get sick with the flu, stay home from school and try to stay away from friends until you're better. Do you still wonder whether hand washing gets rid of germs? We'll show you how it works through a hand washing contest. Sounds great. This blue paint represents germs that we can't see. The three of us, myself, Sarah, and our friend Jackie, will put the germs on our hands. I'll wash my hands with water and soap. Sarah will wash hands using only water, and Jackie will try to get the germs off without soap or water. We'll start at the same time, and whoever has the cleanest hands after 20 seconds wins. Ready, set, go. Time's up. Can everyone show their hands? Okay. I think we have a winner. I wash with soap and water, and I got all the germs off. Sarah, you wash with water only. Looks like you got a lot of the germs off, but there are still some hanging out. Jackie, wow, you're still a mess. We need to get you some soap and water to get those germs off. Obviously, you can see that washing with soap and water gets more germs off faster. So let's review. Why should we wash our hands? Because of germs. Germs are tiny bacteria or viruses that live everywhere and spread from person to person by touching, sneezing, and coughing. Germs can make you sick. So to get rid of germs and stay healthy, you should wash your hands with soap and water. When should we wash our hands? After you use the bathroom, before you eat food, after you touch animals or their food, and after you cough, sneeze, or blow your nose. How should we wash our hands? With soap and water for 20 seconds, drying your hands afterwards with paper towels, a hand dryer, or air drying them. How can we prevent the flu? Get a flu shot and cough or sneeze into a tissue or into your elbow and wash hands often. Okay, looks like we've come to the end of our presentation today. Thank you so much for joining us. If you want to learn more, visit one of these websites.